WesternUnion.com VIP Lounge. It's 106 came yeah, your girl Shay Diddy sitting down with the one and only Casey Veggies. <laughs> oh, man. What's going on? How you doing? I'm great. I'm doing excellent, actually, just living life, enjoying myself. Enjoying yourself. So what brings you to the Bay today? Um, I'm actually here to do a concert tonight. It's okay. um, a concert for Justice at the New Paris. Right. And we're doing a benefit concert for the family of Eric Garner. Right. And um, yeah, it's just an honor to be able to, you know, be a part of it and just be able to use my talents and what I do to just help out other other um, other situations that's going on in the world, you know, and not right. just not just the music in the music world, like real situations. That's, right happening you know and just being a young black man of course in america i'm sure you've had your own experience interacting with different people where it may have rubbed you the wrong way or you might have felt some type of prejudice or something like that yeah definitely that pressure i think is put on a lot of young you know black individuals trying to you know come out the city come out the hood and still be positive but still be like pulled down by all the negative that's going on around right. them, you know what I mean? Right. I also feel like a lot of people, or black people in general, are just pulled down by general stereotypes that are put on us. But at the end of the day, you get to know somebody, it's not. It's a whole different story. Exactly. You know what I mean? Look at what happened in what are the, North Carolina yeah. with Williams, with Walter Scott. Yeah. He just got gunned down in the back. It like, it's terrible. the timing of this whole concert right now, and yeah. this just happening a few days ago is a, it's crazy. Yeah, because it's still going on every day, and... Um, you know, we all got friends and family members that we would hate for that to happen to, you know what I mean? So it's like right. we got to all put in some type of effort to bring the awareness up, the awareness level up around the world. So what do you do when you get pulled over by the police? Like, how do you avoid <laughs> getting messed with? I mean, sometimes I get nervous. Sometimes I just stay calm. But uh, I'll just try to you speak gotta to You got to stay him. calm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just try to speak to him, you know, with... with uh, just like as a man, talk to him with, with respect, right. talk to him with, you know, with a, with knowledge and don't, you know, don't seem like you're trying to be, be the tough guy because that's right. what they, they don't like that, you know. So I just try to be calm with him and just speak my piece. You speak your piece? Yeah, exactly. Have you ever had a run in that made you be like, dude, what's going on? Yeah, I actually got pulled over by my house in L.A. one time. Um, you know, cops saw the car I was driving, told me to get out the car. He made me take everything out of my pockets, like Damn. check my, everything in the car. He, he Cops can't even really check your car without right. having a consent to, but they break the rules all the time, you know. And, yeah. um, it was late at night. I thought he was about to take me in for nothing, but, you know, it's like that. It just it just comes with the territory, and you just got to keep your cool, you know. Yeah, I definitely understand. Well, yeah. I'm glad you're here, and I'm definitely glad you're here to support a great cause. We definitely, definitely. need to make some progress in that area, you know. Definitely. And I'm also excited for your new album. Yeah, I'm excited about it, too. And um, just like you said, like, I'm young, just like, like these, you know, people are that are going through these situations, and I gotta be, the, I gotta speak up because I got the voice to right. speak on certain things. And um, even with this new album, it's called Live and Grow. Right. And um, it's just an inspirational album for like all the young kids around the world that look for inspiration. They look for a role model right. or ambition. You know what I'm saying? Or they look for that person to, you know, draw draw that energy from. Sometimes people don't have that self confidence. Mm. Or they don't believe in themselves, you know. They don't know what dreams they want to follow, right? And um, they need, you know, they need somebody to, you know, give them that spark, you know. Right. And they need that that music or that energy to give them that spark. And I think that's what it's all about. Where do you find your confidence, though? Because from the minute I met you, you just walked in. Hi, I'm Casey, and I'm like, <laughs> who the hell is this kid all over my face? Um, I don't know. I think it's just, you know, I guess my my parents and growing right. up in LA and just, you know, just my personality. And um, not being afraid to speak my mind and um, introduce myself to people and, you know, right. just express myself. Right. Yeah. Well, I know that I, or I heard that you recorded over 100 tracks for this album. Yeah, actually, I do have a lot of tracks for this album. Um, it was it was real hard for me to pick it, pick narrow it down to 14. Okay. Um, but now I, I was able to do that. And, um, yeah, I got, like, a few projects worth of material left over, so I just right. can't wait to put this album out and just keep working and touch it up and, and get every all the new music ready and just keep hitting them over the head, you know? What's your favorite track off the album? Um, I think every track is, like, crazy to me but for different reasons. there's always that one. <laughs> but I think on the album right now, it's this track called A Little Time. Okay. That's, like, probably my favorite track. It just depicts, like, you know, growing up and, you know, having different things that's on your mind and different things that's going on. Mm -hmm. And you're just trying to stay focused. You're just trying to stay 
in your lane and, and, and focus on what you're supposed to do. But right. you have other obligations and people and things that need your attention. But right. you just kind of need a little time to clear your head and figure out everything that you're dealing with right now right. before you can get back to them. No. And that's what the song is about. Do you have any features on there as well or is it all with you? Um, yeah, I, got, I have a few features on the album, not not many rappers. Um, right. A few art rappers on the album. I have a lot of singers, I would say. Really? A lot of melodies, yeah, a lot of dope singers on the album. Um, yeah, just bringing that feeling, you know. I, I, was, I took care of a lot of the rapping on the album. Of course. But I definitely got the homie Dom Kennedy on the album. Okay. That's my boy. I got Ty Dolla Sign on the album. Right. BJ the Chicago Kid, you know, so. And a few other people as well. Right. You gonna? I was wondering, are you ever gonna do anything with Our Future again? Oh yeah, I actually got Tyler on the album. Okay. He, he produced and he has a, he has a song with me on the album, and um, yeah, I definitely want to work with them, continue to you know do music with them. But as you can see, everybody's kind of like bubbling on their own. Yeah, doing their own thing. Even with Earl, I just listened to his album. He don't he don't even got that many features on his album either. Right. And um, yeah, just about standing alone, you know, doing Did you your hear own that, thing. Um, J Cole was the first. Rapper in like 25 years to have no features and to go was it gold or platinum? Yeah, to go platinum in yeah. uh, 20 years with no features. That was a big, that was big. He, he's making history, and that's how you make history by doing groundbreaking things that nobody you know has, I has done. Think that you think that was intentional? I don't, I'm pretty sure it wasn't intentional. You know what I'm saying? But when you're in that mode and you feeling it, you just go with the go with your gut. Right. And uh, you don't you know artists don't really need features. Sometimes we always get told and we you know let people make us think we need something right but, so a lot of times artists don't really need nothing but they own you know they self i don't feel like anybody tells you anything not like that but like you hear but you like nah bruh <laughs> yeah that's how you gotta be i mean people definitely try to tell me stuff all the time but right you know we i know who i need to be listening to and who who i don't and um yeah, I'm just i just try to be self-confident you know just keep the be, right people around you yeah believe in what you what you feel right so what's up with peas and carrots yeah, Peas and Carrots is still alive. Um, my clothing line, we about to open the store back up in L.A. Okay. It's been kind of like postponed, you know, a lot of stuff going on. I've been right. worrying about this album. But now I'm about to open the store back up, you know what I mean? And I heard you were going to have a female line with it as well. Yeah, I want to do a female. I'm about to do a female line. I'm about to do a lot of new things that I haven't done with the brand. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I'm going to keep that brand going just just for, for the people who really love it and, and appreciate it and has been following it. It's gonna continue to grow, right. and um, we are gonna switch it up a little bit. And I'm just excited to just have fun with it. That's what's up. So when when are we going to get this album? The album is dropping like ASAP. I'm trying to drop it like top of the summer. Okay. So it's supposed to drop top of the summer 2015. You know, I'm dropping it for the people who's really waiting on it. I know it's, it's a, a lot it's of people a, waiting, yeah, bro. It's a lot. Of, it's a good amount of people it's that like, really want to hear that album, and right. I'm not really tripping on holding on to it to market it for another three extra four months like right i want to just put it out right now like i'm just ready to release it to the people who really care about the music right and then just let all the other new fans just get it through word of mouth because it's just it's that good you know well i'm sure with you being on tour so much you're gaining a lot of new fans yeah how it's did just, you link up with big sean and a whole bunch of other people oh yeah um, you know, shout out to Big Sean. I actually met him when I was like 14, 15. Like really? he, he was performing at a sneaker show out in LA. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, I had met him. We ran into each other. And we've been running into each other little by little since then. And right. um, we both managed by Rock Nation now. Yeah. You know, and um, they, was, they was looking for an artist to, to perform with him on like some shows on his upcoming tour. Mm -hmm. And um, they contacted us. And uh, I was definitely excited to do 10 shows with Big Sean. So we doing that right now. I'm on the road with him. I'm doing my own shows. Right. Just promoting my album. And um, yeah, Big Sean's super cool. We've been rocking out. And yeah, I just can't wait to keep doing shows. Like I want to perform like, I want to do like over 200 shows in one 200 year. 200 in a year? Yeah. That means right. like a show every 48 hours. Like almost. Less than that. I want to do like 150 shows. That's an least. ambitious task, brother. I think yeah. you can do it. What's your relationship like with Jay-Z right now? I mean, he's a great person. You know, he definitely... You know, we've had a couple conversations, and uh, every time he sees me, he shows me love. Right. And uh, we've been chopping it up on the email a little bit. I want to play him this album ASAP. Okay. But we've been tightening the album up, so once he hears it, I want him to really love it, you know, and enjoy it. Just like I want everybody I'm working with right. at my label, my management. I want everybody that hears it. I want you to hear it and be like, wow, this, this kid, it's you know what yeah. I'm saying, went hard, you know. So that's what it's all about for me right now, just like focus on the music and then mm -hmm. everything else will come after that. Do you feel like there's any pressure, especially with uh, the success that rappers in, from L.A. have had over the last few years that you got to drop some mm -hmm. hits? 
I mean, it's always pressure to make the best music you can possibly make. Right. But, um, I'm not. I don't. When it comes to pressure of fitting in and like appealing, like you know, or whatever, I, I don't really worry about it too, too much of that because I feel like I have my own lane. Right. And I'm just focused on doing what I do and right. taking my time playing my lane. Like when you get too focused on watching everybody else, that's right. when you kind of like go down. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like so. Me lately, I've been trying to just focus on me and what I got going and. Um, and just embrace that and take that to the next level. That's what's up. Speaking of what you got going, because you got so much going on, that's why we going all over the place. <laughs> what's up with you with Pumas? I love Pumas. Look at my shoes right <laughs> I now. I know. That's why I'm like, yeah. you got so much going on. <laughs> Puma, they just embrace me. I will, I feel like they they right. endorse me. You know, I got I've been signed with them for about two years, and um, yeah, everything Puma life. I've been you know rocking Puma for the last few years, and I've been wearing it, buying right. it before this. Like in middle school, I was buying Puma, but. You know, they reached out to, you know, give me a, a sponsorship deal, and I, I was super excited. Right. And um, ever since then, we've been rocking heavy, and um, it's a it's a lot of new projects we planning together, and uh, they're going to help me out with the album. Okay. Promoting, promoting the album, and I'm just, I'm definitely trying to do my own shoe. That's what like, I'm waiting ASAP. on, because you know your girl's a size 7. I got like two, three hundred pairs got of you. sneakers. You know, so, I you got know, you. The CV Pumas are, are going to get sent to your house. <laughs> Send it to the house one time. <laughs> well, that's what's up. I'm excited for you. Cannot wait for this new album. Yeah. That's oh, the number one priority. One other thing I read about you. Did you get hit by a car? Yes, I did. How the hell did you get hit by a car? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually like seven years old when this happened. This is like childhood stories. Right. Yeah, I was young walking home from school. And um, just, you know, being young and just rushing. You rushing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was looking both ways, but... You know, you didn't really. Look I went up. out there. It got real. <laughs> it got real, and um, that's one of those little those things that happen that just teach you a lot about life and just teach you to be strong. You know, right. So I just took it as a learning lesson. Did you get hurt? Yeah, I, I broke my leg. I broke my entire leg. Um, I was out of school for like a year. What? You know, stuff like that. I rap about it on my album a little bit. You had to get homeschool. Um, yeah, I had to get homeschooled for a whole year, okay. and uh, it was just one of them things that made me different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just taught me real adversity at a young age. So when you cross the street now? I just, I, I either don't care or I just really, I'm extra careful. <laughs> do you have a flashback sometimes? <laughs> do you ever look, walked into the street and be like, oh, shit? I, yeah, I do have flashbacks, but it's like, sometimes when stuff happens to you, that it makes you, un you're not scared of it anymore. It's like, okay. all right, it already happened. So, but no, I, you got to be careful. Well. Kids, make sure you're careful. Walking across the street, look both ways, be patient. You know what I'm saying? There's well, no rest. There's when no I was rest. seven years old, my brother shot me in the ass with a BB gun. So I've been afraid of BB guns ever since then. No, I got shot with a BB <laughs> gun when I was younger, too. Did you? It was crazy. I my got cousin. A scar. You got that shit ain't <laughs> cool. I got a scar on my ass Man. from my brother. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the concert for justice is going down tonight. Cannot wait to see you perform. For a great cause. Definitely. And yeah. if there's any words that you want to say to our young youth that just are trying to find their way and trying to, you know. Um, yeah, I think for our young youth, it's just like stay in your lane, be yourself. You know, don't try to fit into what the next person is doing. And um, just keep a level head, you know. it's In this world, it's like easy to get caught in do, doing the wrong things or get like led the wrong way. But I think we need to have tunnel vision, you know, have a mind of our own. Definitely. And just believe in ourselves. Right. And that's what it's all about. And if people want to follow you, see when the album drops, yeah. see what you're doing, how can I holler at you? Yeah, make sure you guys hit me on um, Twitter, Instagram as Casey Veggie, C A S E Y V E W G I E S, and then holler at me at CaseyVeggies.com. That new album, Live and Grow, is coming sooner than you think, and it's going to be a movie. Oh, oh, can't wait for it. Your girl Shay Diddy sitting down with Casey Veggies. It's 106 KML. Shit. Swag. Hey, yo, what's up? It's Young Casey Veggies. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more interviews and exclusive content here on 106kmel.com. Hey, make the money, make it do a backflip. Do it for the team, homie, that's it. Used to put money in the mattress. We do it all the time, no practice. I bet the money, make it do it. I bet the money, make it do it, make it do a backflip.